Well, hey, what's going on, everybody? Rob here with Arcadia Everything. And we do a little bit of everything here, but today we're gonna talk about our printing farm. And we have a lot of printers in here. It is a small room, and we are doing a couple videos for you guys. We've been getting some comments and questions, and uh, we do have a little list we're gonna go through of some questions you guys have. But this is our farm. We have quite a bit of printers, and we expect to get a whole lot more. We actually have 10 on order right now. And uh, we're gonna go through some questions. So I do have a little paper here. And the first question is, what is our favorite feature of the Bamboo X1 Carbon? And for me personally as an engineer, I will have to say the speed. Now the speed and the quality. Because we are in production, the speed is unmatched. And we do run these on standard mode. There is a couple different modes that you can run these things on. But yeah, speed and quality, especially for production. Uh, what issues are you running into? Well, we do have a few issues and we are uh, making a little video on one of the issues and actually it is on two of our printers that we just got in. Uh, you can check out the video. It's probably gonna be linked down in the description below for that video. But yes, we do have a few issues. Uh, but for the most part, we've had probably 10 of these printers running flawlessly for the past month. So really, really good printer. Uh, we're gonna see how Bamboo Labs responds to our little uh, issue. And you guys will probably see that in the other video as well. But yeah, we do have uh, a few issues with them, but overall we are pretty satisfied. Now it's asking, someone asked how easy is the program to operate? Now we do run the Bamboo Labs uh, slicing software. And I gotta say, compared to the probably three or four that I've used in the past, it is the most broad and extremely easy to use. It has extreme amounts of features, and uh, anyone, even the layman's, can use them quite easily. It's very, very straightforward, but it gives you a lot of options to tweak things, to add your own little touch, and all sorts of stuff. The next one, the next question pretty much ties into the last one. What program do you recommend for creating files? Again, I highly recommend the Bamboo Labs. Uh, slicing software. We've used it for all of our prints since we've switched over to Bamboo and have had no issues and it's super easy. Obviously you can wirelessly upload all of your files to the printers but we also like to use our SD cards. What do you think should be changed? The one thing, and, and this would be based off of probably more of the uh, community aspect of what should be changed. And that would probably be the biggest thing that people are talking about is the Bamboo Labs support group. Now it does seem like they are getting a little better at that. It looks like they're even trying to find people to help in the US to communicate between customers about the problems they're having. Uh, again, we're gonna tackle that in the other video. We'll show you guys how they respond to our issues. And we do have a, quite a big issue actually so far. So we will see that, uh, but really, uh, I'd like to see improvements. I don't know if they should really change anything. They're doing great on their printers and their software. Overall, do I recommend the product? Hey, yes, I recommend the product. Uh, we got a few to start and we loved them right from the get-go. Uh, extremely repeatable product that comes off of these things. So yes, I do highly recommend this product. This is the only product we've had is the X1 Carbon with the AMS but uh, we would look in the future to get different ones. But we do like the X1 Carbon because of its enclosure and the bundle package that also includes the AMS on top. Uh, some of the features, it has a lot of features, especially what I just talked about with the AMS. Now this comes in our package, it comes, uh, I believe it's for about $1,500 US. And if you get this, it is a game changer, especially for production. This is probably one of the top features and one of my favorite features is the AMS. So basically what it does is it auto selects filament for you. You can load this thing up. You can even put four of these together and have them all tied in to do prints with multicolors up to 16 colors. We just run a couple colors, but as you can see right now, we're running a white ABS. And really uh, the key feature for us in production is being able to switch between the same colored filaments on a print, say we're printing at night full time and a, a filament tray runs out, we can, it'll actually automatically switch over and continue the print so we don't come into an unfinished bed. Uh, other than that, the touch screen on the X1 Carbon is great. I know there's a, uh, a step down from this that has a smaller screen with buttons, 
but for me and my crew, it is really easy to come in here and understand what's going on with the printer and how quickly you can navigate all of the features. Now we do have another question that says issues with heat question mark. And we have issues with heat and which is why we included and installed a 13K mini split. Now this thing will turn you into an ice freezer and it absolutely did our first day. We actually run still at 83 degrees because we don't want to cool down this thing uh, too cool. Because we're running ABS, we don't want to cool our parts down because sometimes we've actually had instances where it cools the, uh, the box of these things so much that the prints actually pop off the tray. So we've mitigated that by upping the temperature. It still keeps it roughly 83, 85 degrees. But yes, heat is an issue. And leading into the next question is issues with exhaust. And we are running the ABS filament, which does off-gas quite a bit. Uh, we're actually in the process of putting in ventilation system for here. Obviously, since we've added more and more printers, the fumes have been getting greater and greater. And if you can see up here, we do have a small exhaust vent, but it is not keeping up. So issues with exhaust, yes. Uh, we are working towards getting a solution and most likely we're gonna print something to, to actually help with that and then vent out via the back exhaust port. So you'll probably see a video on that in the future. Uh, if you guys have any other comments, you know, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Let us know if you have any more questions. Uh, we'd love to make videos like this and kind of get in the groove of uh, what you guys are interested in. So let us know. You guys, peace out. We'll catch you on the next one. Woo.